but you know, 10 miles an hour isn't that slow either. You know, you get on a treadmill, most people cruise at about six or eight, mm -hmm. just so you know. And uh, I don't blame it for running fast, because again, I had to run in front of the car. It was crazy. You know, it was terrifying. <laughs> Our next stop in Georgia, we were doing a footprint investigation find. These footprints surfaced this year in January. So really, really fresh evidence, basically. Um, this man here, his name is Jeff Allison. That's his wife and his daughter. Um, Jeff was out duck hunting. And he, w he went across country to get to this particular duck pond that he, um, that he likes on Bull Mountain in Georgia. Um, he went across country, came up out of a ravine, came to this uh, ATV road, this, you know, this trail. And he started uh, looking at it, and he found these footprints. These are cell phone photographs. That's all he had on him at the time. And he looked down and he goes, oh my gosh, some idiots out here in bare feet, you know? And, and it would have to be an idiot because the daytime temperatures were in the low 30s that day. And he thought, oh, somebody's just messing with us. He took some pictures of it, wanted to show his wife later. Started walking the trail and he noticed that these particular footprints were very large. He uh, did not have a measuring device, but what he did tell me is that he put his feet, his, his boot, which I measured by the way, he put his boot down and his boot fit inside the outside of the footprint. So these footprints are actually larger than Jeff's boots. Jeff wore size 13. That does not mean the feet are 13 inches long, by the way. Um, turns out I measured his boot, they're about 12, 12 and a half inches. So uh, your foot size does not correspond to the length in inches. A lot of people think that's true, but it just simply is not. Um, what I did get is based on these boots, those are the boots he's wearing, by the way. Um, I have this information, so the temperature's low 30s that day. He said, by the way, the ground was thawing at the time. The ground was thawing out, so um, whatever left these footprints, he estimates from his hunting experience that these footprints were within minutes to a few hours old at the most, because the ground was frozen at the time. He also commented that looking closely at these particular footprints, you can see skin detail, dramatic lithics. He called them fingerprints, but those aren't fingers, they're, they're feet. Mm -hmm. right? So based on um, just footprint or boot length, these footprints are 13 and a half to 14 inches long. Um, one of them is 5.65 inches wide at the ball, a little under four inches at the heel. And uh, he, we, set out, we set out to uh, measure the step and stride length. Um, step is from right foot to left foot, or left foot to right foot. Stride is from right foot to right foot. So uh, using Jeff as a, you know, like, well, maybe this big, Jeff, what do you think? Um, we kind of determined that the stride length, left foot to left foot, would be about seven feet, which is a pretty good, pretty good jaunt, really. Um, other interesting characteristics, you see uh, some dirt disturbed in the middle here, and also there's a disc right here. You know, if you're a fan of Meldrum, then you know about the mid-tarsal break and the mid-tarsal disc. Um, these particular structures have been seen in like the Laetoli cast of the Australopithecus prints, um, and in chimpanzee prints, and all those sort of like uh, flexible feet leave these sort of markings in the middle of the footprints. And that's what we have here. So we have a possible mid-tarsal thing here, and there's that disc that Jeff talks about right here too. Now, when we were there, we were, we were, you know, we we're filming and being TV people or whatever. Um, no one else is there. You know, we could hear ducks at the pond, you know, screeching and doing duck noises, saying whatever they're saying. Um, we had a PA, a production assistant. Um, I've seen online, production, oh, well, he's part of the production team. Well, a production assistant means like, Cliff, Th Cliff Thirsty, go get water. That, that's what a production assistant does. Um, batteries, quick, get them. And they go get batteries and bring them back. They're gophers, basically, is all they are. Well, uh, my friend Tyler Bounds happens to, happened to be the PA on this shoot. Um, Matt Pruitt was also a PA because he was lining up witnesses for us, but he was on another shoot that day. At this particular location, it was just Renee and I at that time. Uh, Matt and Bobo were doing other stuff. Well, while we're filming, Tyler Bounds comes running up, pale, sweaty, looking panicked. And, uh, and I'm filming, I'm kind of looking at him when, when the camera cuts. He goes, <sighs> Prince. Uh, because we were there on, I want to say it's February 16th, I could be wrong. February 16th, three weeks after these prints were found. And then all, these guys were all gone. These guys were all gone. But uh, Tyler was there, he goes, Prince. <sighs> they go, oh, really? Yeah. Toes? He goes, yeah. I went, oh, this is serious. Now, I want to back up just a moment and let you know that um, this is where the, these were, the prints were found there. There's the duck pond. It's kind of hard to see, but we parked our car here. There's a road that goes like that up around. We parked our car here 
went down into the valley. The, no, I'm sorry, here, we parked our car there. Went down into the valley, walked this stretch, came up on the reservoir, and then up into the area, because that's where Jeff found his footprints on the 22nd of uh, January. When we were here, Tyler was ahead of us, and we were in radio contact with him. About halfway, like when, just when we were getting down here, like load, unloading cameras, I get a call from Tyler. Cliff, I heard knocks. Really, tell me more. Knocks from the left, knocks to the right. It's okay. Thank you, Tyler. Duly noted. We started walking our way down. When I got to about here, I heard the knocks. It was daytime, by the way. Full on daytime. I hear bam, bam, up on this, this hillside. And then I hear bam, bam, from that side as we were walking. I think somebody was home. Now, when we got up into here, again, Jeff found his prints here. And oh, something I didn't mention about Jeff's prints, I'm so scattered. It's my ADHD, I apologize. <laughs> um, the footprints were doing this like they were going forward and then going back, and then going forward and then going back, and then going forward and then going back. That was the pattern that those footprints were holding, and Jeff thought that was really weird. He interpreted it like whatever was leaving those footprints was kind of nervous about whatever. Perhaps they heard Jeff and his partner coming up the gully. I don't know, but I thought that might be worth note anyway. Mm. Now when Tyler comes up to me, he goes, Prince, toes? Yeah, toes. went, ooh. Because I'm kind of a print nerd. I like footprints. I guess it's a foot finish, I don't know. <laughs> so, um... Okay, so Tyler says, they're, they're down there. And then the production team says, don't show Cliff. Says, Can I see them guys, please? You know, and <laughs> I've taken up yours. I'm gonna go look at these things whether really, you let me or not. Um, they said, no, 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 Tyler will show you approximately where they are. You go find them so we can actually film it. He went, oh, okay, right, TV, I forgot. Because a lot of times I, I forget I'm on TV and I gotta, because I'm just bigfooting and these guys are in the way. And that's kind of my perspective on it. And a couple of times I've had to go, like, too bad, I don't care about your stupid TV show. This is Bigfoot, it's more important to me. Um, and I'll tell you about one of those if we have time. So anyway, he tells me where to, where to go. And there's this one runoff, because, like, the, the, the trail these things were on, it kind of circled down, well, it circled down like that. And there's this low point where um, all the erosion would push out all the loose sand. And there's, like, one spot on the hill that had all this, uh, a, a, just a beautiful place to take cats. Oh, by the way, that's what that's the jungle that we we're going through in the area. So, you know, Georgia has great habitat, by the way. Here's where the prints were, and as you can see, there's I marked it with um, you know, like water bottles so you can see where they are. But as you can see, there's all this sand and silt runoff from the trail that had been kind of washed down through uh, through the through the, the means of erosion into this area, and there were two prints, just two footprints. Both happen to be right feet. So there's another print in here somewhere that, that, I mean, I looked all over for it. It wasn't there. It was in the forest stuff. But for some reason, we got a right foot here and a right foot there. Here's the same, there's the first print, there's a second print, first print, second print. And here is uh, the ravine to which this thing was traveling. Now, um, there were branches hanging from this tree. We scoured them looking for hair samples. The prints were fairly old. They looked to me like a couple weeks old. They had been rained on in the meantime, um, but they were there, and you could see foot. You, you could see toes. I was kind of blown away, and yes, those were the best footprints I had ever seen in the ground. I want to make sure that everybody knows that I was cut off in the ground is an important thing for me to put after that statement. Here is a, a series of photographs of the first print. Um, by the way, if you are out there documenting footprints, please use a scale item and please videotape them or take a lot of pictures of them. I take five minimum of every footprint. One from directly above, two from the side, and then from and back. Do at least that much, please. It sure helps a lot. It's hard to see here, but there's some toes up on top there. This, and the whole impression of this, well, no pun intended, but my impression of this was um, just like a big, fat, squishy foot coming into the ground. It was really, really neat to see. 